Studio, and I'm here today to introduce you guys to the Ultralight Beehive and Studio Kilns. These are great beginner kilns, they're low cost, they fire quickly, and they're very energy efficient, costing just two cents an hour to operate. There are two different models. This is the Beehive Kiln, and this is the Studio Kiln. Both of them have lids that you can cover your pieces while you're firing, and they both also come with a spatula, and these are inserts for firing metal clay on. Both of these kilns operate best when they're used alongside a temperature control. JEC Products is an excellent resource offering firing guides for all of these different clay bodies. They have one on our EZ960 Sterling, one for a variety of the PMC products, and also one for the Art Clay Silver brand as well. These little kilns are great for firing precious metal clay and enameling, which I'm gonna show you today, but they can also be used for Kembu, fine metals granulation, and fusing glass. In this video, I'm mostly going to be working with the studio kiln, but it works basically the same as the beehive. The only difference really is that this kiln can reach 1600, whereas the beehive maxes out at 1550. So when you first unbox your kiln, before you dive right on in and use it, you're going to want to prep the kiln for use. There might be some leftover oils from manufacturing, and you're going to want to burn those off. In order to do so, plug your kiln in to heat it and run it 30 minutes uncovered. After that, cover it and run it for an additional 15. There might be a slight odor. After that, your kiln is ready for use. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fire some easy 960 clay. But if you're using a different clay body, make sure you check out JEC's website for the correct firing instructions. Before I put my piece in the kiln, I'm going to be preheating my kiln and you want to preheat your kiln with the metal clay firing disc in place. The metal clay firing disc has two sides. One has a waffle texture and the other is smooth. The waffle texture goes down onto the heating element and you'll be firing on the smooth surface. My kiln is plugged into my heat control and I'm going to be setting it to 10. I'm going to put the lid on while I'm preheating, and since I'm firing EZ960, the website recommends that I preheat my kiln for 40 minutes. So my 40 minutes have passed and my kiln has been preheated. According to the JEC's website firing guide for EZ960 clay, you're going to adjust your kiln to the setting 9 when you're firing EZ960 clay. So I'm going to take my lid off. And when you place your clay in, it is totally expected and normal for there to be a flame. That is your binder burning off. And you do want to make sure, though, that you don't put the lid back on until after the flame has extinguished. So there's my flame. And now that the smoke is gone, you can put your lid on. Putting your lid on before the binder has burnt off will cause your lid to oxidize, which will lower its reflective qualities and its ability to maintain heat. The EZ960 clay is supposed to fire for 65 minutes, so I'll catch it back up with you guys in a bit. Alright, so it's been about 65 minutes and I'm going to check this to see if it's ready. I'm going to be looking for it to be glowing orange, kind of a salmon-y color. I've got a tile here to put my hot lid on to, and that looks good. So I'm going to be using both the spatula and tongs to remove my piece from the kiln, and I've rotated it so I can have a little better access to this low area here. I'm just going to slide it on the spatula and set it off the side to cool. And there's my fired piece. If you're going to be firing another piece after this, Recover your kiln and wait 15 minutes in between firings. So here's a piece that I just fired all cleaned up and polished, and here are some other things that I've also done with this kiln. I found that it's an excellent beginner's kiln and does really, really well with pieces that have a flat back and a lot of surface contact with the firing disc. 
However, I found that pieces that are very dimensional, such as these sculpted roses and this lentil bead, were not able to successfully center. I have also found that firing one piece of Easy 960 at a time is best. On a couple instances when there were multiple pieces on the disc, some of them would center and others would not. I did however find that I had better luck firing multiple pieces of PMC at once. This kiln is great for getting started in metal clay and it also does really well with enameling. So let's take a look at that. My kiln's already warm from firing the Easy 960, but I am going to turn it up to 10 for enameling. If your kiln wasn't already warmed, you'll want to preheat it for 35 minutes before you enamel. When using these kilns, you're going to make your own trivet. These trivets come in a U-shape and you're going to want to bend them with an arch to accommodate your pieces. So your piece will end up resting in the bend there. You have to kind of balance it. These trivets will keep your enamel from touching the floor of your kiln and support it while it's firing. So in order to bend it, you can just kind of bring it in slightly narrower. And that's going to be the part that's up there. And then bend it down to give it some legs to rest on the bottom of the kiln. And then back up a little bit to support the other side. And then spread it out so it's got some balance. And this might look very different if you're doing a larger piece or a slightly irregularly shaped piece. As long as it keeps your enamel from touching the floor of your kiln and balances, then it'll get the job done. So getting in and out of your kiln is kind of a matter of preference. You can use the spatula, or I have here some copper tongs, and just kind of whatever works for you. I always kind of practice picking it up and setting things back down a couple times before I go into my kiln just to make sure I know how to pick it up. And in this case, since we're enameling, I went ahead and removed the metal clay disc from the kiln. You're going to be placing your trivet directly onto the heating element. Right. And then I'm going to cover it while I'm firing. And then go ahead and use the little gap here to peek in and check on your piece. The firing time will depend on the size. Since this piece is smaller, it's only been about two minutes or so. And that has fully fused. So I'm going to try to carefully pick it back up out of my kiln. And allow it to air cool. So it's as easy as that. These kilns do a great job for enameling and they're a great kiln for getting your feet wet in metal clay. I hope you'll give them a shot and thanks so much for watching. Visit our learning center at cooltools.us for more cool jewelry making videos. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and be sure to sign up for our email list to be the first to hear about new videos, new products, and other cool stuff from Cool Tools.